Hey everybody, it's Super Fun Roy here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we finished off Glutton's Kitchen, and in this episode, we're gonna start off the next cave of the perplexing pool, the Shower Room. Uh, this cave, in my opinion, is kind of boring, in a way, so I don't really remember much about it except for the boss. And one uh, treasure which sort of. which had a little bit of controversy around it. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to find out where the treasure is. Ah, it's over here. Okay, so we'll just break down some electricity gates with our yellow Pikmin. Uh, just make it safer for the rest. Another one here. Uh, And then we'll take in our purple Pikmin uh, to defeat that watery blowhog. Oh, come on, die, 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 die. Uh, and then we'll just get our white Pikmin to carry back this treasure. Oh, uh, we just need. We'll take. We'll make the rest of them blue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so just wait for them to carry this back. Alright, so we've gotten the first treasure of the cave, the divine cooking tool. Okay. So I'll go straight on to sub-level 2. Yeah, don't do that, okay. Shower room, sub level two. Okay, yeah. yeah, so pretty much this sub level is filled with orange ball bulbs, as well as this thing, which is a lesser spotted jelly float. Okay, so there's a treasure there and a treasure there. Okay, so the two treasures are around this area, and there's also falling rocks. Uh, so we'll start off, we'll just kill this dwarf orange ball ball. And then we'll split up here. Take purple Pikmin, just to get rid of that uh, normal orange ball ball. Okay, so he's there. Then, like, the only hazard around here are, like, the falling rocks and these poison geysers. So we'll just wander around a bit. Uh, oh, the lesser spotted jelly float somehow got behind the wall. Um. Okay. I think this is the second time you've had an enemy have collision problems. Because, I mean, like, first we had that gal in Groink who ended up walking off the edge in, um, the subterranean complex. And now we have a lesser spotted jelly float that somehow went over a wall. Alright, so we're just gonna destroy these poison geysers. Okay, so we already have our 
Okay, so we had an orange Pikmin, dwarf orange Pikmin for no, dwarf orange bulb orb fall from the sky. Oh, and now he's back out. Okay then. So we'll just destroy these other poison guys. Then we'll take out our purples again to defeat uh, the lesser spotted jelly float. In all honesty, my favorite enemies are actually the jelly floats. I just like their look, how they work. I just find it very interesting. And in fact, they're even like greater jelly floats, where the only difference between them and the lesser ones is that the lesser ones can only suck up um, Pikmin, while the larger ones can also suck up uh, captains. So now we'll have Shachiri take the rest of our Pikmin, while the purple Pikmin are working on bringing down that wall. Come on. Do -do -do. Uh. Then over here we have a treasure. Okay. Just make sure they get back safely. Oh, and there's the other treasure being carried by Purple Pikmin. Okay, come on. So now we have. Hold on. Okay, now we have the sub generator. And then here's the other treasure of this sub level another Duracell battery. Yeah, there's actually a whole series which are just Duracell batteries. Okay. So this is the durable energy cell. Uh, okay, so this is that sub level done. Okay. Pick one here, and then we'll move on to the uh, sub level three. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do a prison rape joke at sub level 2 when we got that soap. Shit. Shit. Anyway, uh, so we'll just go around, try and find where the treasure is. Okay, so there's one treasure here. I know there's more. And there's somewhere. Okay. Okay, so there's one treasure over there, one here. Um, yeah, there's the greater spotted jelly float. Um, uh, where's the other one? Is there another one? I don't know. Uh, okay, so we'll just take all our Pikmin with us. Kill two water doubles. Now we have a room filled with three lesser jelly floats. And let's try and kill one of them. Okay, so we've already killed one. And another one's almost dead. Come on. Kill them. Okay, they're both dead. Alright. 
So then there's a water dumple up here. And then this is the greater spotted jelly float. Come on, come on, die, 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 die. Okay, so now the greater spotted jelly float's dead. Oh, okay, the other treasure was inside the greater spotted jelly float. Alright then. There's a water dump all over here. Then there's these one of these uh things. Swarm is butt. Um Then there's another lesser spotted jelly float over here. So we're gonna try and lower him out of the water. The water. By the way, why is water like pronounced the way it is, even though it's spelled as water? Anyway, so and we're gonna separate our Pikmin. So first of all, we're gonna have our blue Pikmin. Uh, where's our last blue Pikmin? Really? Okay, no. Oh, as he as he wandered in with the yeah, he wandered in with the yellows and whites. So we're gonna take in our blue Pikmin to carry this back, and then with the rest of our Pikmin, we're just gonna have them carry back the other two treasures. Yeah, we had a lot of our Pikmin, like, came these again. Okay, so... This is the mirrored stage. Um... Where's this? Yeah, I think that's the other s half of the shell. Where I think the other half was in the Citadel Spiders. Okay. So this is the Scrumptious Shell. And then finally this. Is the Vorpal Platter. Now, pretty much the reason we bought, like, more blue Pikmin with us is because due to, there's actually, like, a chance some of the treasures here might actually appear underwater, meaning only blue Pikmin can get them. So, pretty much it just recommends that you take more blue Pikmin with you than you normally would. Okay, so we're just going to head over to the exit. Um... And yeah, I think I'll end it off here. So next time on Pikmin 2, we will continue to travel through the shower room. See you guys next time.